Three hours later, the big fat PBY comes down and starts to pick us up. You know, that was the time I was the most frightened. Waiting for my turn. I'll never put on a life jacket again. So, 1,100 men went in the water. 316 men come out. The sharks took the rest. June the 29th, 1945. Anyway, we delivered the bomb. What was that little mosquito bite you had on your abdomen there, Chief? <laughs> I got your appendix taken out by a blind surgeon. Kinda. It's a bullet wound. Bullet hit my appendix, so it did have to be removed along with my spleen, and a couple of inches of intestine. Jesus. What happened? You guys already know how I transferred from the city. How many years did you serve? One. One case, actually. Didn't have the stomach for it? Whoops. <laughs> that's that's my bad. What, what I meant to say was... Uba, shut it. Well, when you're a rookie, every crap case is sent your way. While some others were don't touch detectives only, I was out to prove myself by tracking down one of those cases. In particular, a serial killer named Manx. Jacob Manx. Used to like having old ladies for dinner. But I didn't figure that for a crime there, Chief. No, I mean, like, eating them. Oh. Well, shit. My partner, Charlie, got a line on him at this abandoned apartment complex downtown. He stormed in there without even calling for backup. Charlie didn't even knock on the door. He just kicked it in. What he didn't figure on was Mace booby-trapping the door with a sawed-off shotgun. Ooh, was was Charlie hurt? Hurt? No. Oh, thank God. He died instantly. Check that. There apparently is no God. The blast didn't really blow Charlie's head off, more like it blew it in? Kinda like punching a flat basketball, you know? Sweet Mary and Joseph. Wh where, where, where's that chum bucket? Uh, that sawed-off shotgun and Charlie's twitching, squirting corpse certainly got Manx's attention. We exchanged gunfire in the living room. I got him in the lung, and he got me right here. <sighs> we just lay there, bleeding and screaming until the cops arrived. You're a Navy man, Quint. This shit's probably old hat to you. I, I just swabbed the poop deck there, Chief. Uh, homicide's a bit out of my jurisdiction. Homicide's, actually. Well, I was in the hospital getting pieces ripped out of me. They found seven rotting bodies under his floorboards. Please stop. And one hit in the oven. Half cooked and marinated. Anyway, he swallowed his own tongue in jail, and I moved out here to Amity with the family. And now here I am with you fellas catching a shark. Anyone got that beat? No, no. Me and Hoop will drink to our legs, and you can drink to that psychologically damaging bullet wound you got there, Chief. Ha-ha! I win! That's how this game works, right? You win. Just, 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 stop, just, just stop describing things. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They talk in public with masks on, because they aren't suicidal idiots. I'm your announcer Julie. And do you remember when Benny Off and Weiss decided to rush through the final season of Game of Thrones, in order to develop another television show centering around a world, where the Confederacy won the Civil War? That decision didn't age well did it? Here are your hosts, Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Hey kids, this is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine. I'm joined by two guys who are the final boss in every video game you've played in the 80s, M. Bison Stewart and Dr. Justin Robotnik Polizzi. How are you guys doing today? Um, what's something that like a final boss would say? Oh, we're wrong. You're dead. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Today you die. Today you die. <laughs> Welcome to die. What, what is that from? Welcome to die. That's from, what the fuck. Uh, X, X Men. The, uh, oh the yeah, player, X Men. Uh, I think White Queen says it. But White, I, I thought it was Magneto it. that says it. They both Kids, say it. Kids, there's a game called in the 80s, 90s ish the that, 90s. Ex, that bad translations of Japanese. Uh... <laughs> yeah, welcome to die. Instead of welcome to your death or you're going to die, this turned into welcome to die. <laughs> welcome to die. Welcome, welcome to, to die. die. That would freak me out if I was like Wolverine. Like, wait, what? To what? What? Bub? Die. What'd dare you say, you Bub? <laughs> hold on, hold on, Bub. What, what was that? <laughs> the thing in the 80s video games, they didn't really have good uh, like voice, like 
act, I want to say acting, but like I voice think Marvel vs. Capcom was the first time I was like, oh, this, this fucking voice acting is pretty good. Maybe it was just Wolverine. Wolverine was pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> Berserker Barrage. Berserker Barrage. Ah. <laughs> the princess is in another castle. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you that. They had to. He ba- yeah, Bowser out. never said shit. He would just go, hur, 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 like a fucking yeah, idiot. He would do, he would do like that. Like a seal. He, he, yeah. Or he wouldn't say anything. In, in the Super Mario Brothers, you just. Good. And, 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 and Justin's family and was jumping around there going, ah, yeah, we got to save the princess. And all this bullshit. He didn't want to fall in the, in the flaming marinara sauce. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to the day that we uh, cancel cart, you know, cancel the uh, the Mario world. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what Mario? What did Mario do this time? Must, yeah, must have that mustache rides are free. Hasn't, I, hasn't been, I mean, they were calling the little guys Goombas. I mean, that's oh, that's offensive. true. Oh, highly offensive. Koopa Troopas and Goombas. Oh, yeah, to say yeah. that Italians can only be plumbers is highly <laughs> that's highly true. racist. Highly, highly. racist. <laughs> Really stereotyping these princess attacks. toadstool. I, there's something racist about that. I don't even know what it is, but it's racist. <laughs> uh, I don't know why we allow it. And quite frankly, I think uh, Nintendo should apologize. Yeah. And, uh, these Japanese developers have no idea how hard it is to be an Italian plumber. After you know that. what? I was. It's funny. I was watching. Oh, this is gonna sound really like an old person thing. I was watching a John Wayne movie today. Get off my lawn! <laughs> called El Dorado with with J- John Wayne, Robert Mitchum, and James Caan. And there's a scene in it where James Conn tries to get by this guy by pretending to be an Asian man. And oh. it is as racist as you think. It is Mickey yeah. Rooney racist. Ooh. Well, it's he, not as bad as... Like holding uh, his eyes like... Yeah, oh, yeah. He, 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 he holds his eyes. He puts a, a pan on his head. He goes... Nah, nah, nah. He does the whole, the whole spiel. I'm like, whoa. When did El Dorado come out? Was that like early 60s? God, I want to say early 60s. What do you think is worse, that or uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's? Breakfast of Tiffany's is back. This is a long scene. Because he's like a main character almost. Yeah, yeah, he's in there for a minute. They're in for a penny with that yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. It's like, we're all in on this one. Don't worry. Everybody loves Catherine Hepburn. Don't look past this obvious. You know, I've never seen Breakfast of Tiffany's, but I've seen the scene where he's yelling over the balcony. Yeah. Mickey Rooney doing the racist Asian man. Yeah, Mickey Rooney was the go-to Asian guy back then. Uh, <laughs> they didn't get any Asian actors. Get hey, Rooney in here. Get, we need get Rooney. Bruce Lee in here. He's busy. Uh, get get uh, I don't know, Charlie Chan. Get him nope, in here. No, nope, right, right, uh, busy. Okay. busy. All right, how about Mickey Rooney? It's like, yeah, he's, he's yeah, close enough. Here. He's, he's, he's Irish. Up. That's that's to the, the, the east of us, whatever. I mean, <laughs> no, I, the Irish have been through a lot, too. You know? Oh, my God. But that, as I was watching that movie, other than James Conn and, and as a lot movie, of shit. Robert Mitchum, I, I, I think I'm going to start growing an appreciation to Robert Mitchum because there's scenes in that movie where cause I've, I've been watching a whole bunch of John Wayne movies recently. No, why would you watch John Wayne? Because it's, yeah. a, it's a coronavirus are you, are you, pandemic. Are you having a midlife crisis? I am. So I, most are of these you, movies. Are you seeing how racist he really is in all his Are you yeah, taking I mean, uh, Viagra these days? I am. Oh, I'm taking Viagra. <laughs> I think men that watch Sean Wayne have to take five. Yeah. It's true. It's true. And you it's, have to be super small, gun. You yeah. have to be a super gun nut. But like well, in all the. Can I tell, you, his... can I tell you a, a well-known secret? What? Tell me. Well, no, a well-known secret. Well-known secret? <laughs> <laughs> John Wayne was a pussy. Whoa. Oh, yeah. He didn't serve in the war. Oh, no, easy. He was, he was easy. a dodger. Uh, he was like uh, like the president. He dodged it. I... Dodged it. He, was a, he was the artful dodger. But the original Wayne Roger. was a racist, yeah, sexist. He didn't like Indians very make, much it, either. It, it makes sense, and I'm not trying to be sexy. Movie. He could be a cock as well. If he <laughs> <was>. yeah. <laughs> But no, he, I watch a lot of these movies, and he's <laughs> usually you know how John Wayne. Well, people, kids. John Wayne was this guy back in the fifties. It was like this. See, and he was a big guy. He was like six, six foot five, and he usually like is the the go to guy in the movie. He's like the rock for like white men. Back in the day. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, and all these other characters would, like, kowtow to him in all these movies. And then I'm watching El Dorado, and in this movie is Robert Mitchum. And it's the first time I've ever seen John Wayne have, like, an oh shit face. Because Robert Mitchum, Mitchum is was a if, big motherfucker, too. Richard, man. Robert Mitchum was not just a big motherfucker, he can go dark. Like, like relevant to this time, yeah. dark. Well, he was an actor. He oh, was he was a, a, he was a real actor. John Wayne wasn't an actor. No, he was a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> he was a, yeah. <laughs> when he when he gave his like. So what were you before this, John? A pussy pilgrim. A pussy. I was a pussy pilgrim. <laughs> but no, there's a scene where Robert Mitchum is drunk and it's sweaty, 
drunk, yeah, disheveled loves- Robert Mitchum. It's just like, fuck, this is a man. This is yeah, a it's real man. John Wayne tried to rape him because that's what John Wayne was known for. Yeah. Justin, where did John Wayne touch you? <laughs> he's touched everybody in his own. He's probably, apparently. He's own way. You uh, ever seen a grown man naked, Pilgrim? <laughs> no, you want to see what? You Gladiator movies? You ever yeah. watch Gladiator movies? You ever <laughs> dodge the draft? <laughs> you ever do all your movies on a nuclear fucking fallout base and then get cancer and die of it 30 years later pilgrim you <laughs> ever have a deodorant named after you you ever I find have. eight pounds of shit in your colon after your autopsy pilgrim <laughs> damn did he have that's that all shit? true things of john he Wayne. was he was full of shit he was I full guess. of shit more wasted his whole fucking life <laughs> All the John Wayne fans listening is like, "Fuck you, John Wayne's a national treasure." I'm as, I'm more yeah, imagining kids like, "Who is this not. John Wayne guy?" <laughs> John Wayne, don't never trust a guy with two fucking first names. It's yeah. not going to go well for you. <laughs> he will likely be okay, uh, Matthew Stewart. You're <laughs> no, but no, it's, it's... never tr- never trust a John. Oh, that's yeah. oh, way easy, easy. John. <laughs> never easy. trust a John. Never, never trust, trust a chip. <laughs> Never, tr- never unless you're a hooker never, never trust, trust a down. black guy named chip <laughs> yeah, that 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 is a fact that is an that, absolute that, fact. that's a deep cut if that's anybody a... can hey, I'll, I'll, I'll put this on the line if anybody Uh-oh. well i guess well, somebody's gonna look it up on the internet so never mind. <laughs> if anybody has an internet I, I was gonna say anybody who knew, who knows where that uh, line's from uh, answer it or put a comment in the podcast or put a comment right. when you listen to the podcast like, okay, I knew that already. I looked it up. What, that John Wayne was a pussy? Uh, Justin, this yeah. is seven times you told this. True or p- false? <laughs> Where? Did, what What did John Wayne... Did John Wayne kill a bunch of Italians? Is this what's going on here? Is that what happened? What did John Wayne nah, do? Nah, he just, he, he just he, faked himself. Yeah. Is John yeah, Wayne if Bowser? He had a chance, Are you telling me would. John Wayne is Bowser? <laughs> he was killing the Mario Brothers? Is that what's going on here? He didn't kill him. I'd rather hang out with... At least Bowser was something. Yeah, yeah, Bowser had a nice castle. I mean, he yeah. had, he had he a he, well-made man. You know? Yeah, he was oh, a yeah. self-made. He was a self-made turtle or <laughs> is, dinosaur. Is, is he a turtle? Is he a what turtle he? or dinosaur? I don't yeah, know. Dinosaur, dinosaur turtle. Hey, yeah, don't, hey, don't, don't, dis- don't no, no. discriminate. We can't cater. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it you, was, can't, uh, you can't give. You got to put him in his. Own. It. It. Ask, know, uh, ask what pronoun he wants to be known as. Okay, or is he a cis turtle? Yeah, we don't know what sex he is, we, or it is. We have no was idea. Was he a chrome? Was he a Firefox? <laughs> is this a safari? He's a safari. He's a chrome. He's... <laughs> was he a prodigy? Is he a chrome or a Firefox? Fuck was he an Alta Vista? <laughs> an Alta Vista. What, Ooh, that's what, a deep fuck cut. off. That's a super. What the are some just other, had the deepest cut of them. What are some all. other dead? What are some other dead browsers? Alta Vista uh, might be the deadest. That shit is got no Alta flesh. Vista had it, it had its day. People oh, Internet Explorer. Vista. Internet yeah. Explorer is pretty now dead. That was Microsoft Edge. <laughs> it's edgy. It's edgy. They're going for the edge because Kids, once, before Google, Chrome, there was uh, uh, before Firefox, there was, uh, there was and Google Chrome. There was. Alta Vista. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to spread, I don't want to spread conspiracy theories. But every single time you log into Microsoft Edge, mm-hmm. you are being vaccinated by. Uh, wow, what's his name? <laughs> that's Kobe. a pretty big. A pretty, by John Wayne. You're being John Microsoft. Wayne. Ever use Alta Vista, Pilgrim? <laughs> <laughs> Ever been fucked by an internet browser? Code? <laughs> are you on Pornhub again? <laughs> I'm sure not watching those blacks or <laughs> those Chinese, those Chinese workers, those engines between a man and a woman, a yeah. white man, a white, a white man, man a white and a woman, a cisgender white. Now give me some and, coffee. And One thing I've noticed: if you watch a whole bunch of John Wayne what movies is this? at once, a white woman and fifteen black men. <laughs> How might be interesting? Call me interesting. If you watch a whole bunch of John Wayne movies at once, you will see that in every John Wayne movie. He asks for a cup of coffee, and it's fucking like clockwork. Is he asking for black? Hey, definitely. <laughs> well, no, he probably has not. put some cream in that pilgrim. It's too I dark for my liking. Cream in my mouth. <laughs> That's a little too black for me, pilgrim. A little too black. There's a little too strong and black. Hold on, coaches. I take my coffee with a little A one sauce, like a real man. John Wayne, chronic racist. Chronic racist. <laughs> I like my race. Nothing new. I like yeah, nothing my... new. This is all factual information. Google it. Uh, Literally all facts. <laughs> yeah, go sorry, check all, Go Alta Vista it. <laughs> yeah. Go... Get Alta Vista and tell you all the facts. Fact check it. Go, go, go ask Jeeves. Yeah. 
Go ask him. <laughs> He'll Old tell you Jesus. everything Old about Jesus. that or go, go, go to ask.com. Uh, go, Why don't you just open up Word and ask Cliff? <laughs> Clippy. Cliff notes yeah, after the paper clip. Hey, that's paper cool. clip. What do you know about John Wayne? He was a racist. Jesus. He didn't even like paper clips. He didn't even use paper clips. He used staples. I don't dig those paper those, clips, Bill Gray. I don't trust those Chinese inventions. <laughs> Time for a segment that proves these guys are out of their depth. It's Simplistic Submarine. We are playing Simplistic Submarine. I'm going to explain the rules very slowly because they're very elaborate. Okay, the game works Game works like this. <laughs> I will ask Justin or Matthew Stewart their opinion on something. They will come up with the answer, but not say it. Ooh. Not say it. <laughs> and the other person, either Justin or Matt, will try and guess what the other person's opinion will be. The first to guess right three times wins. So if I ask Justin a question, Justin will come up with the answer in his mind, not verbalize it, and then I will ask Matt what Justin is thinking, and then we'll flip it in the first three wins. I've explained it three times. Holy shit, I don't even understand this. Exactly. I knew there was, was a lot of rules. No matter how fucking slow I read it. You're like a John Wayne. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'm the John Wayne of the, of the submarine. You're <laughs> the ever John Wayne of the submarine pilgrim. <laughs> you ever Can't you follow the simple the fucking deck? instructions? You know what would be a good movie to make? What? John Wayne, the actor, wakes up. And is black. Oh my! What am I? He'll shoot himself. It'll be five minutes of movie. Oh. <laughs> I gotta kill myself. I'm gonna jump off a cliff, Pilgrim. All right, here it's, we go. It's like Twilight Zone, the movie, except you don't have a helicopter. Oh, too, too soon. John Land is too soon. All right, Justin. Oh. Here we go. Vic, Vic Morrow. Vic Morrow. He, <laughs> he, he, he he's like it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> it's, it's, let it go. I'm it's, used to it. It's Chinatown, Matt. Vic. <laughs> I think Sorry. I think the penance for that happening is that Max Max Landis was born. Oh out of that holy shit that's a fucking you had to kill what is matthew it? stewart what just is it? dropped what is it? a it's, bomb it's on an Matt old Landis. an old an old man died you mean like a helicopter <laughs> yeah he dropped a, helicopter a young bomb. man lives fair exchange yeah. he just did a fucking john hardigan yeah <laughs> old man stewart dies just, a young dude is born. John, matthew stewart this john hardigan the landis clan <laughs> Yeah, the Landis clan. That's that's probably that's, a good that, that's pretty true. That's yeah. a, I spelled it with a K. Okay, yeah. here we go. Depends what consonant you're using. <laughs> All right, here we go. Justin. Yes. Polizzi. Okay. Uh, which member of the Justice League do you like other than Batman the most? Don't right, say your it. answer. I got it. All right. You already got it. Oh, already yeah. got it. That's easy. Which member of the Justice League does Justin like the most other than Batman? Batman. Matthew, do you think you can hit him with a torpedo here and get it correct? Hmm. Okay, now, we're, are we going with, like, wide, ju like, just base Justice League or, like, all the other ancillary the entire members? Justice League. Batman? All the superheroes from the DC Universe that are members of the Justice League, which is essentially We're going all Justice League them. Unlimited. Yes, the entire DC universe, essentially. Which is, <laughs> Justice League is like essentially anybody who's a not a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, Who, whoever's available. Whoever's, yeah. hey, who's you, available? Hey, who's available today? Hey, hot dog salesman, you want to be in the hey, Justice League? It's essentially <laughs> Uber for superheroes. <laughs> you have a Justice League member five minutes away from you. <laughs> it's, 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 the, it's the gig economy for superhero. Uh, oh, oh, woman, Booster get Gold only snatch. has two stars. We got to go get another one. <laughs> get another League one. Happened. This guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Matthew. Do you think you got it? Other than Batman. Other than well, well, what if, well, what if I don't have it? I've talked about this before. He has talked about this before. Yeah. How well do you know? This is like this is a combination of Battleship and uh, the uh, the Newlywed game. So can, can, can Ooh, you? Yeah. Can yeah. Well, there you, you go. How can you guess? Wine and what? dine me. Whoopi man. with Batman in Ooh. the Justice League Watchtower. No. Whoopi. What, what? <laughs> Who made Whoopi first? <laughs> Who did Justin make Whoopi other to other than Batman, than Batman in the Justice League Watchtower? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I got to I got to write it, right? Well, Chuck, like, put it up. Yeah, Chuck, I, I, we're we're going to go with the we're going to go with the honor system. I believe Justin okay. will not lie or change his that, answer. Yeah, he's going to he's going to he's going to keep it real. He's a trustworthy fellow. I mean, yeah. if you want if you want to make it like real, I mean, he could text, he can check. No, no, that's too elaborate. I'm not, I'm not doing all these fucking tricks. Uh, I trust him. Okay. I trust him. I'll text. I trust him. You trust that guy? You trust that Grease No, no, I don't trust that much. You really I shouldn't trust, trust me. <laughs> exactly. Well, he's talked about this before, probably wasn't paying attention. So. Right. Uh, like usual. Like usual. <laughs> we just don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. You don't no, we, we don't communicate anymore. You changed. <laughs> it is a newlywed game. <laughs> what happened? Uh, the newlywed game's canceled because Chuck Woolery is a fucking... Oh, I, I still don't know what the fuck he did, but whatever. 
He says some bullshit about. Never mind. Anyway, okay, who cares? Go on. Okay. <laughs> Go on. We're talking about who's in the Justice League that Justin wants to fuck. Yeah. Other um, than Batman. Yeah. Other than Batman. Yeah. He wants Batman to watch. He wants a cuckold Batman. Hey, Bruce, watch this. <laughs> hey, Bruce, I'm going to fuck this character in front of you. He's like, all right. All right. All right. I'm, in, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm into it. Never uh, said I wanted to fuck them. <laughs> like, sweet, it's, sweet. It's, it's, whatever. Tomato, tomato. So whatever. That is a yeah. <laughs> clue. That's a different for answer. That's why I want to fuck this character. Okay. Yeah. Okay. At least I got it. I got my, 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 so it's definitely I, not I, a woman. I, 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 I removed one character. That's your first clue. That's your first clue. Yeah. <laughs> um. Damn, I'm, I'm between two, but uh, who are you between? I don't want. <laughs> what do you like to know? We're rocking a. I would like to know. Uh, that's why I asked. Cock in a hard place. <laughs> that's how it goes. But he asks like, what? Well, I know. <laughs> if I tell you, then you, I don't know if you're going to be honest about the, the character. Uh, oh. All right. Hold on. Hold I'm on. Just, okay. Fuck it. I'm just. I'll write it there. right on my phone. Okay. <laughs> it's not like you can delete it or anything, folks. No. No, it's fine. No. We, 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 this is the honor system. Okay, oh, okay. yeah. We're, we're, I have no, it right here. No, he's there's got no it here. Honor. He's not. He's not lying. I'm looking at Justin holding yeah. up his phone right there's now. No, there's okay. no honor amongst Putting these the thieves. Den of thieves. Go hands ahead. Up. He's, uh, okay. he's, he has his hands up. Hands up. Hands up. I'm gonna say. I'm probably gonna get it wrong, but I'm, I'm gonna it's say okay. Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter is your answer. He fires a torpedo. The answer is Justin. I can't read that far. Just say. What is that? Who's that? Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter. Look at yeah. that. I never even assumed that. I didn't oh. even. It's funny. Oh. I, didn't, oh. I didn't even know this. Oh. I picked this question because I didn't even know this. I thought you were going to go Look with the that. Flash. Well, and that's why we're. Well, everyone loves the Flash. Everyone loves the Flash. Yeah. But unlike be... some directors, I believe that Martian Manhunter is the leader of Zack Snyder. Yes. Zack Snyder. Uh, <clears throat> he, he didn't even get his name mentioned in Justice League. Don't apparently, he's Henry John Lennox Jones. in the uh, in the Man of Steel. That's the Martian Manhunter. Apparently, according to Zack Snyder. Even though Zack Snyder is on record saying he doesn't care for that character, apparently yeah. he doesn't. Be. He doesn't like unrealistic characters. Oh, of course, it's uh, pretty okay. realistic if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. But this guy's from space. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's he's from a... another planet. And okay. he's a black and detective. He... Are you saying black people can't be detectives? I'm not going to touch that one with a 10-foot pole. Here we go. Matthew, I mean, you're next. You have oh, one point, Matthew, ooh. so you're winning right now. So just I'm winning. I'm winning this game? You're yeah. winning right so far. I got two more, and then you win. win nothing. <laughs> Here we go. Matthew, <laughs> again, don't say your answer. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, I think I understand this game, Dad. Okay, good. Worst Tarantino movie. Worst Tarantino movie? In, in your opinion, yes. In my Worst, personal Is this for me? This is where Ma- Matthew's going to gonna, guess. I'm asking Matthew the, the question. You're going to have to guess what Matthew thinks right. is the worst thing. And, and like, like uh, Justin, I will, I will do the honor system, and I will. Oh, um, honor system. Look at this fucking I mean, guy. I'll put it in here. I'll, I'll, I'll put mine. You have your answer already. You have your oh, answer I, don't, already. I don't have it yet. I don't have it yet. It's, it's kind of a loaded loaded a question. Like worst. Loaded gun? Uh, is, is it the, that it's the worst right that right everybody, everybody thinks is the worst, gun? or is it the worst that I think? I mean, Worst that you think. What do you think is the worst Tarantino movie? What does Matthew Stewart think is the worst Tarantino movie? Worst Tarantino movie. Directed? No, not this in general. In general. Oh, in general, that general, opens it up. General. Okay. Well, I, well, hold on. Okay. If that he directed. No, National okay. Born Killers and True Romance do not count. Well, or even movies he was in. You know, he was in that. Nah, death those don't count either. The radio nonsense. Okay, I will more more than likely specify what is the worst directed Tarantino movie. Worst directed Tarantino movie in my personal. In your opinion. personal Matthew Stewart opinion. My personal little fucking opinion. Okay, yes. I got my answer. You have your answer, Justin. It's ready. Look, the phone's up. It's uh, I see. You. Look right here. I believe you. I'm doing. I'm doing it just like Justin. Put just the make sure for your, the audience, you say your answer because this is not a visual medium. Uh, I know, man. People are like, "What the fuck's going on?" <laughs> Justin, are <laughs> you ready to uh, guess what Matthew thinks is the worst Tarantino movie? I'm gonna say Matt picked, and it can't give a clue like, "Oh, I'd fuck this movie" or something. I'd fuck like this movie. I'd fuck it. <laughs> I'd fuck it so hard. <laughs> I know what Matthew thinks is the best Tarantino movie, but I don't know what he thinks is the worst. Oh, I'm gonna say Death Proof. Ooh, that I that I think is Death you Proof. You think is, Matthew is the thinks the worst Tarantino movie is Death Proof? That is your final torpedo, Matthew. What do you think is the worst Tarantino movie? All right, this one's kind of close. It's gonna be this right here. 
Kill Bill Volume Two. Vol- that wow. was my first choice. That Man, was my first choice. I must have psyched you out. You did, yeah, you saw, I you, actually thought Volume Two was going to be your pick, and then. Wow, you guys don't like Kill Bill Volume Two? No, I, I like. I like. I mean, okay. Well, you, well, you, I like them all, okay. actually. Yeah, here's like the thing. Them. Yeah, it's like you say, "What's the worst?" I mean, but even the worst is better than that's true. Fucking true. all the He's goddamn like, garbage like, pick, that pick comes the, out pick, ever. Pick your worst hundred dollar bill is essentially what we're saying. Yeah, it was pretty much <laughs> like, "What hundred dollar bill don't you want to spend yet?" <laughs> Kill Bill, which is which is the one you might wipe your ass with. Like, you probably still use it after you clean it or something like that. So Justin misses, but that that's, was that was, that was I never saw that coming. I got that wrong too. All right. Well, what, what did you think my thing would have been then? I don't, I don't, yeah, I, guy. I, I, I think I would have voted for Death Proof too. I think I would have voted. Really? For exactly where, I yeah. love fucking Death, Death Proof. Fucking rules. That's like my top <laughs> three. All That's right, pretty here we great. Go. That's top three for me. All right, oh, Justin, awesome. here we go. What do you hate the most? Bad writing, <laughs> bad acting, bad special effects. Bad writing, bad acting. Don't say your answer. Bad special effects. Bad in a movie bad. that you watch special in a theater. Effects. It's a tough question because all of these bad, <laughs> all of these can ruin a film. Oh. All right, I got it. You got, got it. it. All right, all right. Yeah. All right. Matthew? Bad acting, bad writing, or bad special effects. What I, you... I can. I'll give you. I'll give you an example when when I tell you. All right. Okay. This is this is what Matt. This is what Justin thinks is he hates the most out of a film. If a film has either bad writing, bad acting, or bad special effects, it's a matter of like what would take you out of the film or just make. What you would take Justin out of. out of the film? Those not just you. Justin specifically, yes. But I have to get in his mind. You gotta get in your mind. You gotta incept him. You gotta jump into your or ear. Extract him. I don't know what the fuck that was. I gotta, I gotta jump into your ear, pussy. I mean, all of them could. Yeah, they all could. But what? They the, all could, what but what's what the, the, fu- the most? What is the one that breaks the fucking back? That's the camel. camel. What's the straw in this shit? Who breaks the fucking camel back? <laughs> uh, acting, special effects. What, what was the other one? Writing. Uh, writing. Writing. Acting. Special effects. Hmm. I don't think of like sometimes bad writing could be ironically amusing. <laughs> this is true. Bad bad acting can again also be something. He's very amusing. So all of these, they all could be everything. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like bad special effects are just not fucking acceptable. Mm. So I'm gonna say bad special effects. Bad special effects, Justin. What is your answer? Bad special effects. Oh, oh two, for two. two for two. He's getting the easy ones. I know. I'm getting, I'm getting the layups here. I'm, I'm That's sinking, not a layup. I don't, I'm I don't sinking the bad fucking. I, don't I'm, I am. Acting. I'm sinking the fucking submarine, like the little the two piece submarines. Well, I, I already sunk probably the submarine because they haven't two Oh, the submarine's done. He, he only yeah, has, he this only game's fucking over. Though. This segment is done. <laughs> here we go. There's there's many movies where even if the writing's terrible and the acting's terrible, I find enjoyment out of it. That's true. But you when you throw in like a stock footage, you know, a special yeah. effect. It's very true. These are facts. Uh, I just estimated. give up on or you like altogether. CG blood or something. And you oh, and I could say, you know, die another day, for example. Oh. Even though the writing is Bad. out there wacky. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like if I saw a work print that didn't have all the special effects that are absolutely terrible in yes. that movie, uh-huh. I might actually enjoy it a bit more. Uh, you can you can get, you, you can well, get lost a, in the it's banter. Still, it's still and, a James Bond movie that right, is like right, okay, right. this is over the top and dumb, but right. And we've had that before, but you know when there's a, a laser beam coming down from the ground and you're falling down an ice uh, a mountain uh, mm. down the cliff there and you're skiing <laughs> using a the windsurfing the the tidal yeah. wave. It, I remember. <laughs> In that movie theater that day, just going, holy sh! Even then, it was just holy fuck. This is terrible. This the is, invisible this car is got really me. I, that's what I checked out. The invisible car. I was like, this is stupid. Bad. And there was other parts, but that really set me forward. And the shining and, example of just bad fucking effects. Yeah, and there was a lot of cheesy dialogue and terrible acting, but I can look past that. <laughs> but when you do something that bad and it's cost that much money for a movie, nah, no. fuck you. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like that. That shit can bother me. And there there, there are uh, independent films that I've watched that it just looks cheesy just because of the trailer. And I'm like, I enjoy that. I get off on that shit, really. Just terrible writing and acting. 
So and like you, you like Attack of the Bart. Clones because Attack of the Clones has horrible acting, horrible writing, but the special effects are phenomenal. Are they? I mean, yeah, that pair is just floating. <laughs> it's just incredible. Kids, um, there's a scene in Attack of the Clones where Anakin Skywalker moves a pair with the Force. <laughs> yeah, and then Natalie Portman eats the pair after yeah. she grabs it with I the fork ever so. She's like, oh, yeah, where's my mark, George? That's uh, right there? over. Oh. Uh, and then it's, uh, it's, like, it's like her mouth is here, but the pear is over here. It's like She doesn't oh. even chew. She just goes, yeah. nom, it, nom. It, was a fu- it was fucking cake. It's like she was eating cotton candy, but it's a pear. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking cake. Uh, that shit don't fly with me. That shit don't fly, baby. Uh, yeah. All right, Matthew. You're up two to nothing. I'm going to wow. give... Man, Justin, this game. This is kind of an, uh, This is kind of a middle I'm, ground easy one. I'm good at this game. Best... For right now. This might be hard for you, Matt, but it might be easier for Justin to read your mind here. Best Hope 80s so. cinematic mullet. Mel Gibson... Kurt Russell, Michael Douglas. Best 80s cinematic mullet. Mel Gibson, Kurt Russell, Michael motherfucking Douglas. I feel like I got it. He, 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 he doesn't even have it yet. Matthew, you have your answer already. I, I, I kind of have it, but oh. I'm, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about it for a second. Though. Think about it for a second. It's, I mean, these, kinda... are, these, are, these are three A plus plus mullets. There's one that's not great. Oh wow! There's one that's lacking. Wow. Or, or maybe maybe it's not fucking like iconic enough. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, all right, all right. I can feel you. You know, I mean, it's kind of. I think weird. I know which one you're talking. About. I think we all know which yeah, one you're talking about. Yeah, I think I know. Yeah, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's so this is like a fifty-fifty shot here. I mean, it's great <laughs> it's nice, when you yeah. watch it. It's pretty great, but. All right, I got, I got it. it. It's, it's, it's in, and it's on, it's on the phone. So there you go. It's on the phone. So it right there, yeah. Justin, the actor what? or the character? The actor, Mel Gibson, Kurt Russell, or Michael Douglas? Kurt motherfucking Russell. Whoa! What does, what does Matthew say? Snake mm. plus. Mm. I thought Justin would know me better than that. Oh, he went with the snake. I went with the hater of our of our of my tribe. Mel, he, Matt, you with, with Matthew went with Mel Gibson, the hater of him. I went. I went for the anti-Semite mullet. <laughs> I'd have never guessed this. Who thought a Jew would pick Mel Gibson? <laughs> you, I mean, oh, here's the thing. You know, Mel Gibson was mostly '90s. Yeah, it's true. Ah, but all the stuff in you know, *Lethal Weapon*, the first *Lethal Weapon* mullet was pretty fucking good. I think that's '89. When was Mel *Lethal Weapon* one? *Lethal Weapon* was like '87. And, and then part two was like '89. Okay, and then 89. part three was '91. I want to say he had that mullet to *Lethal Weapon* four, so he had the mullet. Yeah, then he cut his fucking hair like a dumb. You know, he was going through some shit. I guess he's going through some shit. He's still going through some shit. Sure. <laughs> well, Jews will do know. that to you. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> they were getting. <laughs> Old uh, Joel Silver was really getting him down. Joel <laughs> Silver, <laughs> Joel Silver, notable Jew, and notable Jew. Joel Silver is a uh... <laughs> maybe even Richard Donner was. I don't know. Uh, hey, you, you never know. He had a mullet. No, Richard I, Donner I, had a mullet. I really thought Matt was feeling me with the Escape from New York. I thought he was going to go with. I thought he was going. I, I threw out Big Trouble in Little China because that's a fucking well, that's the one I remember. Fabulous mullet remember, right there. Like, and I remember Overboard. It's like. Overbuilt. Yeah, that's even a great wild, one. Wildcats mullet is even like Snake a little reserved. Yeah, that's a, he I had a Captain well, Ron mullet for a little while there. Wait, Hell, he had a mullet as Ego when Guardians of the Galaxy had a mullet. Yeah, he rocked a fucking. He had the Pompadour mullet. Yeah, the Pomp he, mullet. He had a fucking mullet in goddamn Death Proof. Oh shit, he did. Yeah. <laughs> he I he mean, might be rocking the mullet longer than anybody. I think he had yeah, a mullet he, in Santa he's, Claus. He's, he's owning that mullet, but I mean, he I lives thought, that mullet. I thought Justin would have been on the same page with the. You know, Martin I'm sorry. Mullet. I guess I, I just don't gonna, know you anymore. I don't know you anymore. <laughs> You've <just> changed so <laughs> much since you've been anymore. live streaming. <laughs> you oh, yeah, you got to bring that up now. <laughs> Oh, I'm not done bringing that up. Oh, oh my god! Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm too big go. for you now, huh? You're too, you're too, yeah, you're too I large. I come home early and <laughs> late. You think you're in charge? You're so large. You're Scott Bayo over here. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, I'm fucking Fuck. Charles. And, Charles is in charge. You of think me. you're in charge? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give uh, Matthew a hard one here. Justin, are you ready? No fucking yeah. time. Jesus. Favorite. I'm trying to think, which, I got two hard ones here. I'm trying to think what's harder for Matthew to discern. Hard. Fuck it. Favorite Sean Bean death. Favorite Sean Bean death. And there's been a lot of them. There have, there have, there have. Through movies and television. Uh, no, no, no. 
Okay, so we're going for anything. Anything. Anything Sean Bean has died in, which is literally anything. Uh, Favorite right. Sean Bean death. Tough one. Died a lot. He's died on many times. Many, 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 yeah. many, 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 yeah. many, many times. I mean, it's a tough. I mean, I'm, I'm, if I'm getting ooze inside Justin's brain, I can probably think of at least two, at least two that are probably on his short list. There's a couple that you might guys, you guys gonna, might be forgetting. He's died Even three. He's had a lot. He's had like five great ones at least. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right, I got it. Oh, He's Justin's got it. got it. All right, Matthew, do you think you can in extract the answer from Justin's mind? On what is his favorite Sean Bean death? I mean, I, I just. This one's going to be hard. It's going to. I have a feeling yeah. it's going to be hard. I have a feeling. Again? He's going to. I mean, I'm trying it's to think of one. like. I'm trying to, I mean, I'm not using. I'm not using anything. Else. I'm trying to think of like the things I remember him dying in. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to go. You know. You want to say them out loud. Say them out loud. I'm just going to throw the one I think out. I mean, I know you're, it's going to be wrong because apparently you've got a deep cut. And I really want to know why you like it so much. After I'll tell you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He'll let you Quite know. obvious, but I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm just gonna flip, like, kind of flick out the one I think is most obvious, but it's probably wrong. But I'll just go Trevelyan and Goldeneye. Trevelyan and Goldeneye. Ma uh, Matthew says Trevelyan and Alec Trevelyan and Goldeneye. Justin. Double O Sex. Double O Sex. What is your favorite Sean Bean? Death? I will say that is incorrect. Oh, okay. the first miss for Matt. I know it's going to be too obvious. He's yes. going to go deeper. 006's cut. death is great. It's very fantastic. What a fantastic film that is. Amazing. Um, this is a topic I'm very familiar with. I can see and Sean Bean's that. favorite is Lord of the Rings. Okay, that, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was number two. I was going to yes. say... That might be my favorite. Yeah. I would say number two for me would be... Uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, of okay. course. That was probably dark. three for me. Spoiler alert for a show that's dead. Fuck off. <laughs> that killed its own self. <laughs> and my favorite mm, 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 is uh, mm, a movie mm. called Equilibrium. Equilibrium. Oh. That's what I was going to guess. I was like, I go, I think Justin's going to pick Equilibrium. <laughs> yes. That was, like sure. a, that was like an undercover. Under Batman <laughs> killing yeah. 006. Batman shooting gun. 006 yeah. through a book. He gets killed by a book. <laughs> man, I, fuck! I haven't seen fucking Equilibrium in a long time. Oh, uh, Equilibrium's fan Equilibrium's fucking, fucking fantastic. Cool. What a great film! I remember what that a movie great came death. out. Yeah. What a great death! He knew he was gonna die. He didn't yeah. want to. He gave. He gave Batman the option not to look in his, eye, in his eyes as he pulled the trigger, just to give him that one respite because they were friends. What a brilliant death! It's a good yeah. death. He, no, nobody good. dies like the Bean, baby. Nobody. <laughs> you can't beat the Bean. Can't beat the Bean. Well, you can't beat it, but the, you know, you, can, like you flick it. You flick it. Shot yeah. Double those six. Nice. Batman. And all those people about Batman are carrying a gun. He carried a gun in equilibrium. He shot the fuck. Yeah, oh, that gun's badass too. That gun has like a fucking <laughs> spike at the end of it. It did. It did. He could like stab him. With he could have stabbed him in the face with it. Yeah, he hey, you know, you know what movie I always think Sean Bean dies in and he doesn't? Ronin. <laughs> he never, yeah, he, he just <laughs> leaves the movie. He walks away. <laughs> Robert De Niro punks him out. And he's like, oh, I thought De Niro was gonna kill him, but he just walks out of the movie. He's like, you got snuck up by a cup of coffee, fucker. You could probably count the movies he doesn't die on one hand. With the Martian and, and, and uh Yeah, he stays alive in the Martian. And uh what should we call Ronan? The only two I can think of where he stays alive. <laughs> the time he's dead as fuck. All right. Yeah. Still two to two to I think zero. Later on in his career he started surviving more. Two to zero. Here we go. Matthew. Yes. What is what do you think is the worst? MCU movie, starting from Iron Man, ending with Endgame. What do I think is the worst? MCU movie, starting from Iron Man, ending with Endgame. Worst. I'm getting all these, like, worst. What's the worst movie? Most people would say, like, oh, there's no worst movie. It's just an opinion. <laughs> well, that's the, the question. What is your okay. opinion? What's your opinion? <laughs> that's in your good. opinion, in your what opinion, is what is the worst MCU movie? <laughs> You have your answer. You don't have to say it. This no, is... no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Like, what, what, the what worst. I... Is the... Which one do I think is the worst? Which one do you think is the worst MCU movie? Starting with Iron Man 1, ending with the latest Endgame. It'll probably be the last MCU movie, seeing that we're never going to have movies in the theater again, but yeah. No, we're going to have Black Widow eventually come out on Disney+. Sure, Plus. 2025. All right. Fuck it. Okay, I'll, I'll go I'll go with this one just because. Yeah, you have your answer? It, it's like, I'm looking at all of them. Like, this one's pretty fucking shitty. <laughs> I mean, this All right, one Justin. is just like not 
not great. You know, this one's just yeah. You can get on the board here, Justin. What well, do you think I, I was going to go with the one I hate the most. Like. Yeah, get out of your head. Get in my head. <laughs> get in my bed. Well, I think you're trying to get into my head. Yeah. So, <laughs> Herman's head. I'm going to say mm. Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 is what Justin says. Matthew, what do you say? Thor the Dark World. Thor the Dark World. Was that on the radar? No, it was, it's, a lot of people hate that movie. I don't hate it as much as others. I just don't care about it. But I, <laughs> but I also don't care about any. I like, I like Ragnarok, but the other Ragnarok is the best. I, I can fuck well, I mean, it was a big, it was a big, uh, it was a big part, right, of, of uh, Endgame. No, oh, yes, yes, yes. It was. It's, I mean, it's, it's they didn't go back to Iron Man three. They, they Endgame had the benefit of never shying away from any of their previous movies. They even put their bad ones in there. Yeah, they they know See, they 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 reference all of well, them. Iron they Man reference... three was the only reference was that kid, right? The kid who was at yeah, the, the funeral. Kid, yeah, yeah, the kid came back to the funeral. Yeah, so I don't know. That that's my second worst, but Thor: Iron Dark Man World, three? Iron Man three, yes, is second worst. Uh, but there's still things about you know I, I like Iron Man three. It, mm. it 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 inches out Thor: The Dark World because there's enough like fuck you stuff in Iron Man three that I can appreciate. Uh, and it tells the fans to go fuck themselves in some way. So I'm like, <laughs> I just the last Jedi before the last. Jedi. It's the last. Yeah. the last Jedi before the. We're last gonna Jedi, retrofit yeah. everything you've ever known about fucking the man. When the characters in the movie yes. are and even that. looking at themselves like this is the bad guy, that's when you know you fucked up. Yeah, I mean, but at least it had some like snarky dialogue and stuff. It had some. It had some like I mean, snappy. It, you have it Robert had some snappy shit. Yeah. So you're gonna get some. I mean, he's I like, there. I like Shane Black. I think he writes fun stuff. Oh yeah, Predator. The Predator. He wrote Have some real fun stuff. Yeah, he's yeah. seen the Predator. <laughs> I that thought movie? you didn't see the Predator. Yeah, I thought you, you saw the, the Predator because I thought you saw the Predator. Did you not? Predator's great. You? Predator's great movie. Great, 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 great. Have you seen Iron Man three? Have you seen? Nice guys was the last good. Have you seen Iron Man three? <laughs> All right, Justin. How many Matthew could win with Matthew. Could if Matthew gets one hit here, he wins. It's two two zero still. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. It is 2-0. Worst Tim Burton film. Worst it's been Tim quite a Burton few bad film. ones, too. And again, he's yeah, made a lot of bad ones, one. like a lot of them in the last 10 years. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of them. Been, All right, I got it. Some, this, he's already right got it. Right off the bat? Wow. Okay. Right off the bat. Justin already knows. What Shit. do you think, Matthew? Worst Tim Burton movie? Worst Tim Burton movie that Justin thinks is the worst. Uh, Tim Burton that, movie. that he thinks is the worst one. What does Justin think of the worst Tim Burton movie? It's is? been a rough. It's been a rough decade or two for Tim Burton. It's been a rough. It's been a rough twenty years for, <laughs> for old Tim. <laughs> but old Tim. Good old, Good old Tim. Tim. He, he had a, he had his day in the eighties and nineties, but uh, after nineteen ninety nine, he was like, hmm, what should I do next? Nothing. <laughs> I should do nothing. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows. Justin, what do you think is the worst Tim Burton movie? I think this is just undisputedly the worst. <laughs> undisputedly the worst. Charlie in the Chocolate. Oh, really? That oh. movie made a lot of money. A lot of people like that one. No, it's bad. No, it's, no, no. Not it's, a, it, yeah, it's bad. It's pretty it's, fucking it's, bad. It's number one. It, it's pointless. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Number two, have you seen it? it? I saw it in IMAX. It's bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, and number three, it, it misses a lot of why the first one did things and to they, match they made that Willy Wonka change it. Is they not they changed it from being Willy Wonka from being charming to being Michael Child Jackson. Predator. <laughs> Yeah, oh, pretty much. Yeah, he pretty much was with the rubber gloves and everything. Yeah, I forgot he. I, honestly, I would have said that, but I forgot he directed that. Oh. <laughs> we all try. We all try. I, I mean, we all try he did, he did that, existed. and then he did what? Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, did that like twice, didn't he? Yeah, did, I did mean, he, did he do Matthew the didn't for that up, too? Matthew didn't aim low. Dark he fucked up once and came back to fuck up again. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, he came back to refuck it. He refucked the corpse. All right, Matthew, what is the what is your favorite? Joe Pesci performance. <laughs> my, my favorite Joe Pesci. Your <laughs> favorite Joe Pesci performance. I got I got four I got four on the list. I got Ooh, four wow. in my mind. It, it's well, a, you have the two main. You, the you two got the main. two main. I think I feel like you just, got the third that we always kind of bring up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Got a couple. Uh, He's got a couple of good, great he, ones. He, he does. I mean, I, I have four on my four right off the bat that I that I take. So um, I have it. I have the one I want right now. I'm in. You're right. in, Justin. What do you think? Yeah. Normally, I'd say Goodfellas. Mm-hmm. But for man, I'm gonna say. Fuck, I'm stuck between two. <laughs> the casino. You, you, you could be stuck between three, actually. Yeah, you could. Casino it's, it's, or my cousin. Oh fuck! I I forgot about my cousin. Mm. Fuck! <laughs> I wouldn't even guess that one. I forgot about. I want to say casino. Matthew, what is your favorite? Yeah, well, yeah, we're gonna go with that one. So we're gonna go yeah. with casino. Ah, he's on the board, casino. I, I Put like... your fucking brain to sleep because you don't give a Ooh. fuck. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm sweating over here. That's like the most. I think I, we we or I, the royal we maybe. Yes, we quote, the royal we. we. We quote him the most on the show, off the show, during the show, anytime when there's a show. I think it's either. He's great you know, in Goodfellas, but he has that one your, scene. I mean, I'll put your fucking brain to sleep. But, but no, no, for real. In Casino, he has every line. Is every quotable. line out of his mouth is like. <laughs> I almost feel he should have won the Oscar for Casino instead of fucking good fellas that year. it's true i i think he i don't know who work. i don't know who he, who he was up against in 90 oh, was it 94 95 versus no 90 what 91 or something i mean don't get us wrong he's fantastic in goodfellas it's just that he is like a third of the movie maybe yeah. a left he's on a different he's on a different fucking level in casino. right in casino he's like the main villain of the movie <laughs> so yeah. it's like he has way more to do so uh so it was casino what, what was your fourth um, I said four, right? Yeah. Um, it was Casino was one. Yeah. Um, My Cousin Vinny was two. Mm-hmm. Goodfellas was three. Right. Then I was going to probably say like Home Alone or something like that. Four. Uh, <laughs> no Lethal Weapon, huh? No Joe. No, oh, yeah. He was Leo in those Gets. movies too. Fuck. I, I forgot thought you were going to go Leo Getz. I thought that was going to be one of them. I think Bad Taste in My Mouth for like part four. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, like, I, 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 I liked him better in part three, to be honest. You like Eight Heads in a Duffel Bag? <laughs> Oh yeah, he yeah. <laughs> or gone fishing with Danny. Glover. Gone fishing with fucking Danny Glover. His third collaboration with Danny Glover. Holy shit! All right, okay, here we go. Uh, Justin. Yes, sir. Predator, Commando, Running Man. What is your favorite of those three movies? Predator, Commando, <laughs> Running Man. <laughs> Uh, okay. Now, now we know um, we know the link here. So is it a matter of I got to think of like whether it's the actor who's the link or the movie itself? It's the actor that's the link. These are Schwarzenegger films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but at the same time, can of, I just say? Yes. I love them all. They're all great. They're all. Great. I love them. Oh, there was I'm a time sure. where Schwarzenegger was just just giving you just what yeah. you want. For I'm like surprised you didn't years. put a Total Recall in there. Instead. I almost did. I had to you, pick you three. You can continue. You can put Jingle all the fucking way. I, I, I could put Jingle all the way in this bitch. I could drop a Terminator in here. I mean, because I, I, I just... a few of those I've watched recently. <laughs> <laughs> so this is hard. It was a hard three to pick. I tried to pick three that were kind of in the wheelhouse of themselves. You know what I'm saying? Is it a racer? Eraser is a great film. God, Eraser fucks hard. God. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> luggage, your luggage. <laughs> luggage. <laughs> Traffic. Why, why are you late? Traffic. Traffic. <laughs> so good. James, it had, it had James Conn in it. Bring it Did have James Conn in it. Did have fucking James Conn in it. Not playing the Chinaman. Nope. <laughs> that, that, not this time. <laughs> not this time, right? <laughs> his name was John. I think his name was John something. I forget his last name. But it was because... Uh, James Conn kept calling John. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, gotta kill you, John. John Eraser. <laughs> John Pencil. John Pencil. <laughs> John Pencil. <laughs> John Pencil. <laughs> John Meet number John two. Pencil. <laughs> John number two. <laughs> when you have a problem, you go to John Pencil. Yeah. <laughs> of the Pencil family. I'm not of, number one, but I am number two. <laughs> of, of the New York pencils. Of the New York pencils. <laughs> of the Austri- Austrian pencils. Justin, do you have your answer? I do, yes. Uh, I'll put it in my phone. Okay, Matthew. What do you think Justin's, out of the three movies, if you get this right, you win the game. Win. Predator, Commando, Running Man. Huh. Uh, tough, 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 tough to decide here. Commando, Predator, Running Man. Jesus. Very tough here. Tough, 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 tough. See, I was thinking Total Recall, because I was just watching it the other day in that movie. Mm-hmm. God, God damn, it looks good. 
trying to think like what's more i what's the most iconic they're movie? all iconic like, <laughs> and it's like and, and is justin going by performance by said actor or is he just going by the whole oh, or is it is this is the sum greater than the whole i don't know man they're all great that's the same thing <laughs> they're though. all the same thing and he's great in all three of these movies He's fantastic and all. Yeah. Really, no one loses with this one. Yeah, no this one. Is, yeah. <laughs> no one. Somebody has to, though. There's something for everybody for all, in th- all three of these movies. <laughs> Always watch. I'm going to go Predator just because it's fucking Predator. That's and right, yeah. We were talking about Shane Black earlier. And Shane, he has to, well, yeah. Shane Black has to fucking redeem himself after Iron Man 3. Which, or The Predator. Which isn't <laughs> The Predator. Which, yeah. <laughs> Look, Shane Black's had a tough go. It's true. That, uh, was, Justin, that guy's had a tough life, old Shane Black. Was Matthew's guess correct? Yeah, oh, oh, no, it's not! He wow. missed! He picked Commando! Now, there is never... The other night, last week, I watched Commando. That's I great. just find that film, even as outrageous as it is, just to be the most enjoyable fucking watch. It's so, it's so good. It's just so the lines just, just let off some... St- Steam. I eat the, green berries the, for breakfast. The, 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 the ice cream scene. <laughs> with oh, with the deer in the deer I, scene. It's, it's not that far away from me. I'm, I'm going to try to reenact that scene. <laughs> I gonna, love that. It's get a so stupid and cheesy and fun. I want okay, Justin. What I that want was, from you? That was what I want third from you, on my guest list. I need a shot for shot, sweeted remake of the opening montage of Commando. I might. I have been thinking about it. It's only yeah, about an get hour. A, get like a little log, get, <laughs> get like a, a something that looks like a log that's not as heavy as a log. Find like a, a fake deer and play with it. Uh, ice cream. Put it in your face. Just do oh, the opening so... montage of Commando. This is what it's I got. Want. One of the most hairiest uh, villains in it. Too. Oh my god! Yeah. Fucking isn't that the guy from Mad Max Fury Road, baby? Or Mad Max uh, Part One or Two? Road Warrior. Yeah, just, yeah, Road Warrior. Yeah. Him was... jumping out of the plane oh, and fuck. just. <laughs> into the water, which makes no sense. You should have died. Zorn died the exact same way, but Arnold's fine. <laughs> and I yeah. love, he oh. just goes ape shit and blows them all up. And it's great because you can see they're just dummies that are standing up. <laughs> t- it's, so, it's so terrible when you watch it. It's so just good. It's so exploding. Good. And, this and, is and, an and example of a special effects movie. This, yeah, this, special is a, effects this is an example of bad, mind, bad writing, bad so acting. Good. It's great. <laughs> It's it's a bad special effects. Bad special effects. It's, it's pretty like much perfect, the perfect film. Yeah. Uh, okay. Give it a negative is a positive. Running Man was always my go-to growing up. I think Running Man is just a fantastic overlooked film. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can all guarantee. <clears throat> well, like, we can all agree probably that Predator is the masterpiece out of those three. It is three. a fucking masterpiece. Yes. Um, but Running Man was always my go-to good feeling movie. Predator is yeah. not that as changed fun as those two. A movies. few years back. Yeah, because Commando we're actually living is just... in fucking Running Man. No. You're having a bad day. You put on Commando. You're you're, you're fucking good. having a blast. Fuck. You're, you're laughing. Through. You're enjoying the killing. I underestimated and... Commando being your favorite. That's a great movie. It's a, it's a hard question. All right, here we That's... go. <sighs> Some of these are very very. Like Justin said we're all fucking winners here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's two to one. Justin could tie it up with this one right here. Hey, Matthew, no, man. Fuck. video Fuck game it. that you'd like to see become a movie: Zelda, Star Fox. Metroid. Zelda Video Star game Fox, you'd Metroid. like to see personally in your lifetime become a movie. Zelda. Star Fox. Metroid. Hmm. Alright, I got it. Okay. I got, got it. it? Yeah, I got it. I got Justin, it. Justin, what do you okay. think is Matthew's choice to become a movie? Zelda, Star Fox, or Metroid? I don't think, I think Metro would be pretty good, but I don't think it would work. Mm. Uh, not a lot of people know too much about the backstory, uh, but it would be a good little female-driven film. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zelda, I think, plays better than maybe watching it. I want to say, the best of both worlds, playing and watching... I think Star Fox would be fun to fucking watch at a, th- at a theater. Hmm, Matthew, what is your choice as the video game you want to see become a movie? At the end of the day, 
I think Justin's right. The Star Fox. Ah. Star Fox! It's tied up two to two! It would really be right fun to watch. You think about it from a fucking film perspective. I'm I mean, thinking of making it like, like, a, like a Enter the Spider-Verse. I'd do it animated, but just make it like a fucking badass animated... I mean, I'm, I'm cool either way. I mean, don't, you know... I, I would almost want... The universe to is threatened! Yeah. <laughs> Falco! By a giant Whoopi. face. <laughs> we a giant Whoopi. face is gonna eat you. How what was the name of the villain in Star Fox? Fox talk. Andros. Toad. Andros. Ah, Le yeah. Zelda has the advantage of having the best villain. And the, the seats could be the... Rumblebacks. That's true. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Stick it in your asshole. Oh, hold on, hold on. All right, Justin. I'll just bring a dildo to, or just bring a vibrator to the theater. If Matthew gets this right, the next person that gets one right wins. Here we go. Home Alone, oh. Goonies, or Big. What is your favorite? What's Justin's favorite? Oh, my favorite? Oh. Yes. Home Alone. Uh, that's easy. Goonies. Got I got it. Big. Matthew, what do you think Justin has just picked out of his brain as the best? So I'm himself? worried about that because he guessed. For, he, he guessed he, really quick. He had his answer very quick. He didn't quick, even think so about it. That can either be good or bad. Or ugly. We don't know. Yeah. Duck, you sucker. <laughs> Deep cut. <laughs> Dave Coburn, deep cut. Deep cut. Just mean man. <laughs> <laughs> Made out of alligator. <laughs> it comes back to Mel Gibson. Yeah, it always does. <laughs> it always does. Huh. Three iconic 80s films from Home Alone, the... Goonies, or Big. They're both, all three are kids. Oh, okay. Well, Home Alone was 1990, so it's not 80s. Okay, so 90s. Yeah. 80s. Hmm, do I go with what I with my gut or do I go with my brain? I don't know. I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> Obviously. I don't know. Um I'm gonna go with fucking I'm gonna go with big. Justin. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh Dude, that was my that was goonies. my that was my gut. Yeah. I always go with your gut, baby. And I went and guts. I went with my brain. That's your guts. With me and thought, uh, Kill Bill good. Volume Two, I did yeah. the same. This thing. was gonna be another. This was gonna be another. Uh, what do you call it? A fucking uh, commando thing. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, I never would have. So Justin likes the Goonies over those two movies. Is there? Yeah, a... Big's a fine film. Um, yeah. I'd rather watch Home Alone, but Ooh. to me, Goonies all around. It's just. Uh, See, Goonies was my one, and I thought yeah. big to throw me off. Nah. And obviously, I threw myself off. <laughs> oh, off I, a cliff. I, I jacked myself off. <laughs> <laughs> Which do you prefer, Matthew, in terms of superhero deconstruction properties? What the fuck does that even mean? Watchmen, <laughs> Kick Ass, The Boys. Oh, so like the anti comic book. Movie. Anti comic book. Properties. The underground comic. The underground. Uh, these aren't your your daddy's superheroes. This ain't your daddy. These ain't your mom's guys. <laughs> your mom's superheroes. The boys, Watchmen, which encompasses the movies and the TV show, and mm. Kick Ass. Is that Kick Ass one and two series yeah, collectively? We'll just, we'll just count one. I don't think two ever happened. Okay. <laughs> Fuck two. This is essentially what I'm saying. I like Kick Ass too. I, I like Kick Ass too. Uh, I don't like Kick Ass. That's Jim Carrey and had. I mean, had the, he's uh, good. He's good, but they cut out all his fucking scenes by yeah. Jim Carrey's and request. And had those chicks like shitting themselves. That was hilarious. Yeah. I love that part. I want to get one of those things where it's like you buzz it and it's like makes people poop themselves. <laughs> Not me though. I don't want to poop. Well, sometimes I do. Sometimes, sometimes I do. can't poop. Anyway, okay, I get that with my... age. Yeah. yeah. I poop better with age. It's called Metamucil. Yeah. Uh. All right, I got it. You got it, Justin. What do you think Matthew prefers? The Boys, The Watchmen, The Kick-Ass? I prefer probably... Well, this isn't about you, okay? <laughs> He's setting it up. He's setting it up. <laughs> He's setting it up, huh? Let's see how he sets this up. Let's see okay. how he does this here. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer Watchmen. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Matt might as well. Okay, is that your final answer? But my final answer, I think, is The Boys. The Boys. Matthew, what do you think is your favorite, this is not your daddy's. This ain't your fucking dad's. This ain't your fucking grandma's this superhero. Ain't, this this ain't John Wayne's superhero. <laughs> hey, this ain't my superhero, <laughs> Pilgrim. 
What is it? Well, I what? guess uh, I guess we're we're gonna call this uh, a fun game because Justin got the boys. Oh, he got it, the boys. He came Justin, back. He, he, he had an epic comeback. Straight he, picks he came from Lizzie. I was up two nil. Two is that September? Is that sub boys comeback? Yeah, season two coming back. Yeah. Uh. This just turns into a terrible sponsor ad for yeah. <laughs> Amazon Prime. Amazon the Prime, Prime season September. two, September. <laughs> this has been Simplistic Submarine, a game where the only dive is in show quality. Let's do a little TV roundup. But uh, Justin, what have you been watching on TV? Probably the boys, huh? <laughs> No, it hasn't, hasn't been on yet. He's okay. been watching some boys on TV. What, what, you've been watching little boys on TV, Justin? Watching boys. <laughs> you've been like boys. Some boys. <laughs> I haven't really been watching uh, TV. Hmm. Um, I did get to try out some Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, whatever oh. it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, the one on Netflix? Yeah. The one on Netflix. Yeah. Nicole loves this shit. I, 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 I enjoyed it. It was yeah. pretty good. Um. <laughs> Tell, tell us how you really feel. Come on. <laughs> I did. I know. That's good. I Just mean, so. I like that. It's like, I feel like you're being coy about it. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought it was good, but I, I haven't watched every, I watched really, I only got to watch a couple episodes. Um, but I, I have been uh, watching two things. Mm. Um, I've been uh, re-watching the, the uh, Batman animated series. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a reason why. And, it's a, this is a secret. Right this is a secret. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. My sister asked me what Mask of the Phantasm was, and I was like, you haven't seen Mask of the Phantasm? I would have slapped no. her. And I, <laughs> I had to explain to her what it was, and I was like, you're never going to watch it, so let me just tell you the story. And oh, she was that's like, oh, fucked up. You should have said no. Yeah, she, she, was never gonna, she was never going to watch it. It, it, it. Her attention span is not that long. I feel like so your she, sister's me. <laughs> Well, you have a longer attention span than my sister. If your sister wants to watch it, I have a. I re-edited it. And uh, yeah, I haven't seen this re-edited version of the fucking. Yeah, I did it in college, actually. I, well, you never showed this to me. Show it to me. You know? Well, this might be extra content. Oh, so, oh sorry, sorry. I'll oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, you can't. It's, it's, it's copyrighted. We'll get. Sued. I can't really repost that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those Star Wars re-edits. And, oh yeah, that's uh, true. It's very difficult. Yeah, very <laughs> very difficult difficult. We skate the we skate the line every time we do anything about Star Wars. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, really, the only the uh, I changed the opening. Uh, instead of going, um, you know, uh, I like the cold opening idea where, um, you know, Batman's chasing the car and the car goes off and then it cuts right. to the credits. I like that. And so I kind of just rearranged that opening a bit, um, which I think adds to it. Uh, I, I ch- and then I changed some of the, uh, the, uh, the effect, the uh, sound effects in the background. Um, but Great fucking movie. Your sister should watch it. Yeah. Uh, I believe it's on Netflix. Oh yeah, we saw it because we were scro- we were uh, scrolling through Netflix and we. It's it on Netflix. It's on, it's on HBO Max too. I think it's, it's on, on Amazon. Amazon. It might be everywhere, and it came up on a screen. That's She's good because like, it was hard to find, especially yeah. in HD when it, yeah. when it first came out. The one on HBO Max is in HD though. Yeah. Because they have it in the whole DC tab on HBO Max. Right. Right. Oh, right. do they? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, the Blu-ray is, is just that. There's nothing special on it, which is a shame. It's hard to really um, make an HD cartoon. Yeah. Well, you just take the original print and, you know, you, you I mean, you could you could do a nice HD transfer with something like that as opposed to something like um, the Avengers because that's all digital. I mean, you could really make that thing I guess you, Yeah, pop. you could sharpen it up. I guess it's weird because you, you think of like – Animated like Disney animated because that wasn't a direct to that that was that came out in the theater. That's a theater, yeah. yeah that was the theater. theater yeah. yeah, that came out and ended terrible, unfortunately. But um, uh, I never got to see it because I got my tonsils taken out when that came out, Ooh. and uh, I didn't get to ever go because when I finally got better, I did you go to the re release? They re released it in the theaters, uh, yes, last they did. They year, did, I think they yeah. re- they've been re released, which the nice thing about the quarantine is uh. Well, COVID thing is that they've been releasing a lot of uh, movies back into the theater, like drive throughs mm. Drive, like drive in. Right. Let's try to get to see Ghostbusters out here and oh, wait for that fuck. to come. Yeah, man. Uh, but I also been watching something else. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been watching uh, Matt play some video games on the old Twitch. Oh, is that synergy. a TV show now? Oh, look out! We're we're look at that. We're our shit out. 
<laughs> yes, watch some. Uh... I thought maybe you're actually watching Darkwing Duck. He's, he's just watching, watching Matthew from a window. <laughs> Just looking no, at you. I, I, you know, I don't think I've ever gotten to play that. Uh, I own it. I don't think I've ever got to play it. But, really? Yeah. It's a very frustrating game. Yeah, I remember well, Quack uh, Shot. I think I've got to that watch game. you do it. So I didn't. Was... I didn't finish. But you know what? I, I'm going to uh, that 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 episode will air again with me doing a new episode of actually beating that game because I think I oh. figured out how to beat that motherfucking mole. Oh <laughs> yeah, I think I figured it out. I, I I came to me in a dream. Those turtles look like a motherfucker as well. Oh fuck, those fucking turtles! They, uh... Here here's the weird thing about video games made by Capcom in the '90s based on uh, cartoons. Mm. All none of these characters existed on the show, so you'd be very confused by it. Sure. Like there was never a fucking turtle who threw a shell at you and was cold when he threw his shell. <laughs> Or a lot of a fucking, yeah, they yeah. have to they have Changes. to give you obstacles. The cartoon. They, well, there was uh, there was I henchmen. Guess. You could use all the fucking henchmen. There was a, not a henchman who of a turtle who threw a shell at you. You have eighteen henchmen boards of henchmen. This in your in your stable. Eighteen uh, levels of henchmen. You I got? mean, I might if you give me a chance to like make a cartoon. <laughs> I don't know. Don't, don't fucking test me. <laughs> Other than playing video games, what have you been watching on TV? Doom Patrol. Oh, you know, I gave up after like two episodes. Is it? Is it I've watched uh... exactly two episodes. <laughs> well, but, uh, but I'm going to continue the journey because it's fucking weird. So it's, uh, it's, it's too weird for me. It's I mean, it's it came weird. out when b- the boys came out, didn't it? Uh, roughly, it, it came out what last because last year it was on that DC Universe shit that right. I was like I'm not gonna fucking pay for this shit. So I, I think uh, it came out when the boys came out and the boys is so fucking good. I was yeah, like, you know, boys, fuck this. boys is in, by comparison it pales in comparison. But yeah. I, it's fucking weird and it's got, it's got it's got James Bond in it. It does, and it's got Encino Man in it. It does, uh, and it's got the. Um, Matt Bomber, Matt Superman, Bomber, uh, p- potentially Superman. In it. Oh yeah, I can see him as, as Superman. He was up for it, and he lost it to uh, Cavalry. To the real life Superman. <laughs> to, the, to the actual Superman. Yeah, he did. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I think it's 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 fucking weird and crazy. It's got Cyborg in it. Yeah, which is weird because he's on that show, but he's not on Titans, and it's in the same universe. I thought he was on Titans. I don't know. Is it this? I, I haven't... Or, again, no, I, don't I, watch think, Titans, I, think, I think Doom Patrol so. crossed over to Titans. Oh, okay. Because I don't, I don't watch either show. Doom so Patrol spun off of Titans. I'll be honest, like especially anything DC related, I am confused by all accounts. Well, <laughs> if you're on TV or premium or I have movies, no idea. it's all completely... It's three fucking universes. I yeah. have no idea. Or five, if you count the C- if you count CW, because it's not hard. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, that one. Too. The CW the crossover out. had all of it. It had Doom Patrol. Yeah. It had uh, Titans. It had the fucking uh, Birds of Prey TV show from back in the fucking day, Jesus. all in one episode. Yeah, yeah it had eighty nine and a fucking. It had eighty. Had Ar- the fucking I said Arliss. They, they had, fucked uh, up eighty nine. <laughs> Arliss yeah. was in it. Ar- Ar- yeah, Ar- yeah, was, was in it. Yeah, Robert had the wrong was bat for like had five the, seconds. Had the wrong bat symbol by the way. Had the wrong bat symbol, but it had Joker's alive. Yeah, on yeah. the newspaper, <laughs> which is weird. Again, <laughs> I guess it's a second joke. Was this all? But, this was all the C on the CW shit? The CW crossover that was like Yikes. maybe a year ago. Was that the Infi- Infinite Earth Crisis shit or something like that? So. That did. Oh yeah, yeah. I like. I don't haven't watched the CW show in forever. So. Don't yeah, worry, no, I'm not missing much. It was, a, it was a crisis of yeah, fucking crisis. executives not knowing what the fuck to <laughs> do. Fuck to do with what they have. Yeah. <laughs> but, I like Doom Patrol. It's fucking weird. I, 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 I don't know. Not, I, mean, I, I think it's pretty good. It's it's I, got some shit in that's fucking off the wall. It's very boys esque. I like Tim Does Frazier just do a voiceover? Or does he? Is he actually in the? Suit? He's in a he, couple of the episodes in flashback. He's in the first episode. Like he's more flat. He fat. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. fat. Yeah, he's fat. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. Fat. yeah. Fat Frazier. <laughs> I'm not fat shaming the guy, but he no, no he he put on he, some pounds. He, he put, put on some pounds. pounds. Like yeah. don't, not no mummy anymore, huh? No, no, that's not Rick O'Connell, baby. He's been eating a lot better, apparently. Well, you know that was was the whole thing with fucking did Brandon Fraser come out and say he was like he was blackballed out of the out of he was acting, blackballed because like he was molested and then he was gonna tell and then some shit yeah like something bad out. happened to him. It's probably why you haven't seen him like since Crash. I mean, before Doom Patrol, the last time I had seen him, he was on the uh, show uh, uh, Three Days of the Condor TV show that was on 
<sighs> what the fuck? It's Epic Prince or some shit? Well, that, well, that'll drive anybody to eat. Yeah. Well. <laughs> drive anybody. <laughs> And then he was on some Western show. Three but yeah. He, he said the reason why he doesn't get acting jobs anymore is because he was molested. He it said was, that he got blackballed was, out of yeah, yeah, there was something about something like he was going to come out. Or, or he didn't give it up. Ah. Maybe, I don't know. He didn't give it up. You have to take it from him, apparently. He's a big motherfucker. I wouldn't want to fuck with <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Brendan Fraser ain't a small guy. <laughs> That's a big dude. He's a big Canadian, isn't he? He's a I big, ti- he's he's a big yeah. giant Canadian. Is. I think the last time I saw him was in uh, G.I. Joe movie oh yeah he was oh, yeah he was though. fucking uh what's his name uh dial tone or some shit yeah. he had a cameo. <laughs> i don't fucking Please know he was somebody. your operator <laughs> connects you he was, o- he was os operating os somebody. operation high tower some shit like that he operation was, uh... system <laughs> <laughs> yeah the one because ca- steven summers Clippy. directed the first one though so he yeah he yes, yes, right. they're homies and everything like that yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, he where's steven Sum- where's steven summers has he done a movie since Van Helsing? I haven't seen him since the summer. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of 1997. I think that was the last time oh. I've, I mean, I don't know of the where mummy. he's at. Well, he did. No, he, didn't he do? No, it was Joe Johnson. I get Stephen Summers and Joe Johnson confused. No, Joe Johnson. Oh, you Captain should have do that. One They're like the same mother. It, yes. oh. <laughs> one invented Boba yeah, Fett Stephen one did not. <laughs> Stephen Summers had a few hits. He had, to, I, he had like the mummy this. and the mummy too. And he did do. He didn't do the second GI Joe, did he? No, no. He it was another guy. The guy. Yeah, who, I like uh, the second one. The second one is the one. Second one better. Yeah, I like. I like the second one. The one with the rock, right? And uh, yeah, where they kill off. He's got Bruce off, uh, Willis in it too. Yeah, Bruce Willis. Yeah. And they kill off Channing Tatum, right? Isn't he? Like the first blow, five they minutes. blow him up in that movie. Yeah. yeah. Was Marlon Wayans didn't come back in that one? Did he? No, As, I think uh, he died too. What's his name? Whiplash or something like that? Uh, Ripcord. Why do I know this? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm was so, ship, I'm so was sorry. shipwreck in part two? No, they never had shipwreck. They had Flint. Fuck. They had Ooh. Lady J and Flint. They didn't have. Who would have played shipwreck? Oh, anybody could have got anybody to play fucking shipwreck. You just need like Mi- a Mickey Rooney. <laughs> Mickey Rooney. <laughs> hey, dig him up. As, what the fucking as, sailor as, as the, Hey as sailor. The Asian <laughs> shipwreck. Asian <laughs> shipwreck. You'd be quick kick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been watching, DJ? I'm sure you've been watching a show. No, nobody cares what I was watching. I've been watching. I, I've been watching. I whole care. Bunch of I want to know. No. The We're whole asking, world wants yeah, to know. Yeah, no, the whole world wants to know what you're doing. All right, fine. I've been watching a show called. Okay, Yellow... you know what? I don't really care. All okay, right, fine. That's what. I Time once again to dive into the dictated diatribe of the diabolical droid deity. It's Julie's diary. Dear diary. As an announcer for a movie and TV entertainment podcast who just happens to be a sentient computer program. I know a little something about artificiality. Take Las Vegas for example. The whole thing is artificial. And I'm not talking about the irony of a city having its foundations actually built on sand. I'm talking about how the entire idea of Vegas is fake. It tricks you into thinking that it is some sort of paradise, where drugs, sex and money pour through the walls into your lap to an extent, where you never want to leave. But what it's actually doing is sucking your very life essence out of you bit by bit, until you're a smoldering husk of the marginal person you were before. What the film Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief got so right. And I can't believe I just made that statement. Was there owed to the Lotus Eaters from the Odyssey? When Percy and his friends go to Vegas and realize that the lotus flower food they're eating is keeping them there for an undetected amount of time in order to suck their life force away. That is Las Vegas. And no, I'm not saying this because I lost my ass playing blackjack at the Venetian. I mean, you're supposed to stay at 19. Everyone knows that. That dealer was a fucking cheater. This has been Julie's Diary. The Simplistic Reviews podcast will be back right after this. Maybe I just have a gambling problem. No, no. That can't be it. Want to know what's happening for the weekend? Then check out Subject Cinema's 3-Minute Weekend, spotlighting all the new films hitting your local theaters. Join host T.C. Kirkham as he gives you the 411 on all the new blockbuster releases as well as the indies that might be coming to your town and choices for video on demand as well. 3-Minute Weekend, every Friday morning from Subject Cinema and eCinema1.com, a member of the Lamb Podcasting Network, a PNR Network's podcast.
The doctor will be with you in just a moment. Thank you. Good morning. Holy shit. You're Dr. Doom. Yes, I am Doom. What are you doing here? Well, Doom is here to fill your third and fourth by Cuspid Herald. Wait, so you're telling me not only is the doctor in your name legit, but that it's for dentistry? And optometry, but that's only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Wow, I figured it was one of those honorary doctorates they give people like Yoko Ono or Bill Cosby. Doom does not accept ceremonial titles. Dr. Doom did it! Before we begin the extraction, Martin, would you like gas or a local anesthetic? Yeah, no, I think I can handle a little anesthetic. Excellent. This might pinch a bit. You know, on um, second thought, Doctor, let's uh, go with the gas. Uh, the gas. Gas! Dr. Doom did it! Stop crying about your new braces, Timmy. Accept your new facial disfigurements as Doom did. Only those as grotesquely maimed as we are can gain the strength and drive needed to harness the ultimate power and rule the world. Now get yourself a lollipop on your way out. They're sugar free. <laughs> Dr. Doom did it! Hold still, Jim. Squirming only makes this root canal more difficult. I'm trying, but... It's a little hard when your terrifying mask is so close to my face and the glows on your hands are made of a rather sharp, indestructible metal. Oh. Dr. Doom did it! Do you know what happens if you don't floss, Mary? I know, I know. My teeth will fall out. No. Doom gets angry that you defied his wishes. Doom then comes to your home, blasted to atoms, and imprisons you in a Doomstock dungeon for the rest of your life. In which time, the inevitable malnutrition and never-ending torture will then cause your teeth to fall out. So fucking floss! Dr. Doom did it! Are you ready to play the game that gives new meaning to Dead on Arrival? No? Well I don't care. We're playing it anyways. It's Simplistic Death. Uh, Simplistic Death. The game where I name it the way a main villain in a movie dies. Matt and Justin will take turns guessing the movie where these deaths happen. The first to get three wrong. Three uh. wrong loses. Man. The only other clue they get is the genre. Now, I have a lot of faith that you guys can do well on this game. Because usually if you, I think you're going to do bad, I, uh, yeah. I, I get like a little bit. But for this one, I have 26 of these. So Man. I think you guys are going to do well. You have no faith. Um, again, Zero faith. wrong. So essentially, <laughs> if I say a uh, man loses grip uh, and falls to his death from L.A. skyscraper during holiday season, you would say Die Hard. That would be an example of how the game works. All okay. right. The okay. genre for most of these. So there's genres, really no one. There's hope really I get no that incentive one. to getting these right. Well, you live. Uh, most of these. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to die. And then a listener. Oh, it's like, that, it's like the, the stakes box. are pretty if, high. It's like yeah. the movie The Box. If you don't play the game, somebody out there dies. It's like K-pop, K-pop right? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. K- I, I think so. Again, most of these are action, but some of them are action adventure. Some of them are sci-fi action, etc. But I will tell you before I say it. Who wants to go first? Because some of these are easy and some of them are a little difficult. Is there any softcore porn? Uh, uh, a little yeah. There's one that's got some, some softcore porn. Whenever I watch porn. softcore porn, I do die a little inside. Okay. I'll go first then. Uh, <laughs> sure, okay. Matthew says first. Matthew, this one is action. Mm. Shot twice by two cops on the front lawn during a rainstorm. <laughs> oh. oh, come on. That's, that's a lethal, I told you, some of these are easy. Lethal weapon. These are. Lethal weapon, correct. All right. Remember, first the three wrong. Loses. What if Justin, we all get them right? Then there'll be one more question, and whoever buzzes in first. Sudden death? Yeah, sudden death around me, exactly. Powers Justin, Booth dies in that movie? Yes. <laughs> Gary Busey gets shot by two cops on the front lawn while handcuffed. I think both of those cops are going to jail. But all right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> not in this day and age. Not in this day and age. Uh, this is an action one as well. This, you'll probably get this one. This is how easy this game is. I'll get, I put the two easiest one first. I don't have Impaled by a pipe through a, the stomach in a boiler room. 
Thank you. Yeah, um, okay. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Commando. Correct. <laughs> Dunstan All right, now, now we're down to All right, at least I got to... one. Yeah, yeah. That, this, is, this is how the game goes. Uh, now you understand. Uh, now it's downhill from here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is a little bit easier, a little bit harder, I guess, but it's not that hard. Matthew. Yeah. Face ripped off by a grappling hook caught up in a tire while driving over the desert. Desert. Is it more than the wasteland, I feel, than the desert? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. right. Mad Max uh, Fury Fury Road Correct uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was doing that for dramatic effect I don't know why you're doing a dramatic effect I don't know, already I gone long. Here no. we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a point <laughs> Justin, action adventure Stab, this is a tough one Stab through the heart with a razor sharp prosthetic limb Uh Uh, uh Um tough one no i think is it uh the fugitive incorrect the first one wrong it doesn't this is the kingsman samuel jackson is stabbed through the heart with a razor sharp prosthetic oh with the fucking oh, his the elf's leg, leg. Yeah. okay uh, that was it leg one. did you say leg you said prosthetic i said, I said limb. limb yeah that's what limb. i thought okay all right limb uh, limb uh, limb you're right action adventure <laughs> Matthew. yeah melted and exploded after opening a holy relic Coming up, coming up, daisies on this one here. Uh, um, uh, get, uh, get it right. wrong. Get it wrong. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm here to win. I got I already lost, motherfucker. Last crusade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Temple of Poon. Temple of Poon. Uh, incorrect. I didn't say it. That was my guess, asshole. All right, man. Come on. The Raiders of Lost Ark. Come this on. Is oh, now, rapid TV. fire. You're giving me all this bullshit. Give me rapid fire. Come on. Some bull, this is some booty shit. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Is that your answer, Raiders of the Lost Ark? I mean, yeah, I was going. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to get the next one. Faster. <laughs> You're going so slow. Okay. No, I, th I thought we were going to show slow. No, there's no great. dramatic effect of these. This is a quicker. Okay. These are faster. I got 26 of these. I got to get through. I know. We're going to get to it. We're on four. All right. Okay. So it's uh, Matthew <laughs> has the zero wrong. Justin has one wrong. Here we go. Yeah. Action sci-fi. Justin. All right. Cryogenically frozen and then decapitated. <laughs> Cryogenically frozen and then decapitated. Jason X. Incorrect. Oh, Demolition Man. <laughs> no, Demolition Man. In <laughs> action sci fi. The Jason X is a horror. <laughs> <laughs> he is a horror. He's a horror. I thought you said space. No, no, no. Action sci fi. Action sci fi. <laughs> uh, I thought space. I was trying to think space. Uh, <laughs> right, that's my fuck up. That's okay. Uh, injected, uh, Matthew, injected multiple times with a drug that causes his blood to explode. Oh, is that a blade? Correct. <laughs> I think you didn't give me a genre, so I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, you should have asked. Action horror would have been the. No, genre. You, you, I thought it was you were gonna do it automatic. Sorry, I do it automatic. Justin, here's action sci-fi. Here we go. About time. Pushed over into a large vat of molten steel and melted. <laughs> action sci-fi. <laughs> I want to say Terminator Two. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't overthink it. I am. <laughs> Trust me, I will. There could have been a lot of films where this happened. <laughs> made Matthew action adventure. Mm. Made whole again through a magic coin and then shot at close blank range with a flintlock pistol. What? Made whole again through a magic coin and then shot at close range with a flintlock pistol. Made whole again with oh, uh, pirate. The first Pirates of the Caribbean. That the, 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 I don't know, the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I don't know. Pirates of the Caribbean. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Correct. One. Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> one. Cur Curse of the Black Pearl is fine, whatever. Nobody knows the fucking subtitles of those movies. J uh, just an action adventure. Falls action. from a cliff into a river and then ripped apart by crocodiles. Falls from a cliff something, to, something to do with Poon. <laughs> Falls from a cliff into a river and then ripped apart by crocodiles. It's got a stereotypical Asian boy in it. Again, the game works. The main villain of the movie Temple dies in this way. <laughs> Say again? Temple of Doom. Correct. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> Matthew, action adventure again. Mm. 
blind, blinded and eaten by a genetically created animal. Blinded and then eaten? By a genetically created animal. Uh, kind of a tough one, but not, not really. Well, obviously, I don't know it. Hmm. Fuck. Main villain blinded and then eaten by a genetically made animal? Mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. Planet. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I don't fucking know. Incorrect. Mm. <laughs> the answer was Jurassic Park. Uh, so it's one to one. What? Yes. Oh. Nedry is blinded and eaten but by there's genetically. A, but there's a lot of people that die in that movie. Which one is the main villain of the movie? It's Nedry. He gets blinded and eaten by a genetically John enhanced John Hammond. Creature. John Hammond's not a villain. <laughs> I don't know. Some people think he is the villain. No, oh, no, no. That's, a, that's not something. The whole fucking movie happens because Nedry fucking turns off the fucking power. He's the villain. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Delapasaur. <laughs> uh, this is a easy one. Action adventure, Justin. Aged to dust after using a faulty holy relic. Action adventure? Action adventure <laughs> aged to dust after using a faulty holy relic. Uh, I'll ask Crusade. <laughs> Correct. I feel like the I feel like the floor is gonna open up. I'm gonna <laughs> He's gonna, to yeah. I thought Jehovah started with an eye. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> All right. Uh, remember, it's one to one. Action, uh, Matthew. Action. Action, action. Matthew. Action, Matthew. Uh, decapitated by a sign in an underground tunnel. Decapitated by a sign. Uh, yeah. Uh, speed. Correct. That was a good one. Nice. I, like that. Uh, I mean, you kind of tricked me, I feel. I'm not tricking you. I'm really le I'm Pop quiz. How the person <laughs> Pop quiz, sugar Pop tits. Quiz, Stewart. <laughs> Sugar tits. <laughs> Sugar tits. This is a hard one. This could end the game here. This is a tough one. Oh, it's, shit. You're it's kind probably going to end a hard one here. But it's very descriptive. It's a very descriptive one. So let's just pay attention. Here we go. Action is a genre. Straight up action. Straight up. Straight up in your face. Shot in the chest by a harpoon gun, leaving him pinned to a wall to bleed out while singing. Oh, okay. Very descriptive. You got a lot of qualifiers in that. Uh, and it's very script. Shot in the chest by a harpoon gun, leaving him pinned to a wall to bleed out while singing. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew knows the answer. Am I incorrect with this description? No, it's pretty good. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just thinking. I don't know. It's, I, it's, I, a, I, it's a good descriptor. It's a very descriptive description. <laughs> you know what you, should, what you should have had in this game? You should have been able to pass to the other person like one oh. time. Oh. That's just to fix your little game for next time. Okay? I don't want to fix it. It's first the three wrong. Well, your game, rapid you're, you're fire. game is, well, you know. <laughs> uh, this could be over right now, though. Yeah, I think it is. Is uh, it? Uh, you know this one. <laughs> Shot in the chest by a harpoon gun, leaving him pinned to a wall to bleed out while singing. The main villain in this movie dies this way. He's singing. Shot by a harpoon. Gun. Gun. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few I'm thinking of, but I don't, I don't, they're not the wall. Go with Go your gut. Go with your gut. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say, Matthew. <laughs> Go with, because he literally gets literally, shot in the gut. Literally, he gets shot in the gut. <laughs> Go, with Go with your gut. <laughs> is it, uh, is it lethal weapon? Mm, which Maybe. one? <laughs> Uh, that's I can't remember. Uh, Doesn't matter. You got it wrong. It's not. Like mm, yeah. All right. <laughs> it's face off. Face off. <laughs> Cash oh. Troy is shot in the. Which gun. is confusing because like he was great the, movie. The guy great who film. played him was to be the. Hero. It, but it's the same guy. It's, what are you talking about? It's the villain of the movie. I know, the but hero doesn't get shot but in, the in the church. <laughs> no, he gets at the end of the boat scene. The he boat? goes, oh. and yeah, he sings, ready for the big And then he Margaret Cho runs up to uh, um, a Sean Archer, a.k.a. Castro Troy, a.k.a. Nicholas Cage, a.k.a. John Travolta. John Travolta. Everybody, everybody plays themselves in the movie at the end of the movie. It's about it's about finding yourself. Yeah. It's about finding it's your about family. Finding your yourself. face. 
<laughs> so Matthew off. wins the game. And, Congratulations. Uh, that... <laughs> I officially yeah. left the show, and uh... yeah, now now Justin's retiring. He's going to the. He's, he's going to move out to Montana. He's going to go in the mountains. He's going to be a he's rancher. Gonna, he's yeah. going to be a rancher. He's gonna, he's, a racist rancher. Racist rancher. Hey, pilgrim. <laughs> this has been simplistic death, a segment I'd fasten a toe tag to as soon as possible. <laughs> Matthew, Cheers. give everybody your information. <laughs> You know, we've really we've really slimmed down on the information because we're we're just telling everybody to fucking go to the website. Correct. And, and well, what's the website address? Oh, oh okay. I'm going to go with the old school way first. First, what okay. are you going to do with the old school? You can still go to simplisticreviews.net. Mm. Okay. Hey, okay. okay. you could. But if you wanted to but, be an old racist, but if you want to be an old racist fool. <laughs> But if you want to be hip and cool, you be, yeah. yeah. You want to be an old racist fool. You want to be hip and cool. Yeah. So you want to go over to simplistic dot reviews, bitch. Well, don't put bitch, but, but you can put bitch. <laughs> What's this address? Yeah. I just typed it. In. I went to a completely different website. Dot reviews. It's what all the cool kids are doing. We own simplistic dot reviews. Yes. Hey. It's our new yeah. URL. None of that dot com, dot net, dot edu, dot We're pretty fucking hip. TV, you know, none of that shit. They don't want any of that. Simplistic dot reviews. And you can find the whole new redesigned website that Justin put together because he's a smart guy. He's the architect. Yeah. He's, he's, he's the, the architect. Actual, he's the real pussy farmer of this uh, operation. <laughs> I had my harpoon. Sorry, fat pussy. He's got his harpoon. Right. Shoot yourself in the chest. Yeah. Pin yourself to a wall. Sing a song. No more drugs for that, man. <laughs> yeah. Go to the website. Everything's website. there. You can every, stream. You can podcast. Literally every fucking thing that we do is there. Twitch, it's... podcast, reviews, YouTube, fucking the store. The goddamn store. The store. We are modeling clothes in the store. Some places the fucking store. Store, store how, baby. How, how many people do you know that have a fucking store? Their own no. store. Their own know. store. Their hey, own you, store. Hey, you can go to our store and not wear a mask. Boom! Yeah. How about yeah. that shit? You can, or you can buy shit? a mask. You can hey. buy a mask from us and be safe. There's a couple masks on there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gimp masks. Um, we have the store on there. We have... Uh, and uh, you can watch our streams on the homepage, on yeah. your tablet, your desktop, your mobile... You can watch Matt fiddle with his controller. Fiddle with my dingus. You know what I mean. <laughs> you, can, you can see me fiddle, fiddle around, and I'll put this out here now so everybody knows on the podcast. So just so everybody knows, scheduling, schedule wise, everybody, podcast always on the first of the month, movie commentary on the fucking fifteenth. You're getting two quality motherfucking products you can't say that about a lot of fucking podcasts out there i'm not gonna name names but a lot mm -hmm. of them aren't that good we're the oh, fucking we'll name best. Names. no yeah <laughs> we got some things coming up yeah you want fucking names we'll give you fucking names we'll give you names <laughs> yeah we'll, give you we'll build names. a fucking snitching. wall yeah. with bricks with names on yeah <laughs> the fucking another fucking brick in the wall that's right. Pink Floyd in this shit. Yeah. We'll spend five dollars on a brick and put their name yeah. on it. Yeah. It if you give us a dollar, we'll build you a we'll make a brick. We'll brick your ass. We'll people fucking, that uh fucking gold brick. We don't like or uh people that uh are conning you. Oh yeah. the con. I can think of a couple names right now, some yeah. other podcasts. <laughs> a couple cons out there. Some, some cons. Podcasts. Pod cons. I don't even know they're called podcasts. They're more some like concasts. Hire out to do their work now. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, easy, 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 easy. We're going well, in. for uh John Wayne in eighties mullets. Ooh. I'm Sean Bean's death in every Ooh. film saying I was always bad as James. That was always better. He says that line, but then James tastes like strawberries. James tastes like strawberries. <laughs> That's a creep. You couldn't get that. You couldn't say that line today, could you? She tastes you like could. strawberries. Why? You couldn't do that, could you? Well, what if they were wearing shop, like strawberry chapstick? Mm, he kind of uh, he forces himself on a girl and kisses her in the mouth. Well, he's and then a says, villain. He's a, he's tastes a, he's, like strawberries. He's a classic <laughs> movie villain. He's a classic he's a great. Bond he's maybe villain. the breast hey, Bond villain of yes, all time. Yeah, the, yeah, he is the breast Bond villain. Yeah. He's the breast Bond villain. Yeah. yeah, and guess what? The hero, <laughs> chest. the hero in all those movies was probably the bigger rapist. That's strong. So, hey, Matthew ain't do nothing ah. but tell the truth right there. <laughs> That's shit. fucking true. James right Bond there. has gone too. Hey. 
Hey, have you yeah. seen Spectre? Yeah. <laughs> have you seen that movie? Yeah, he doesn't ask any permission. He didn't ask shit. He just put he pinned Monica Bellucci to a wall yeah. and had his fucking weight. Yeah, oh, you fucking... would too. That's yeah. true. It's true. <laughs> Once again, this simplistic reviews podcast performs a feat that most thought impossible. Deliver an entertaining show? No. Deliver it in a timely manner? No. Provide clean and concise analysis on the world of Hollywood, much like their highly respected podcasting compatriots? No. Survive this airborne pathogen apocalypse long enough to record their ramblings about movies and television for the consumption of people, who I'd have to guess were mentally ill. You bitch your fat ass. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. I'm serious. You people who love to listen to this program. You're maniacs. Greetings. Dr. Doom DDS here. Your stern but fair leader and most respected orthodontist. Here at the Smile Center, we specialize in... Um... Mostly pain-free dentistry. Proudly serving all citizens in the greater Latvian area. Mondays through Saturdays. Sunday we're closed because that is the day Doom plots to destroy the wretched Reed Richards in this pathetic Fantastic Four. And for a limited time, we are providing discounted rates on caps and fillings. So come down to the Smile Center. We're the only dentists in town. Because Doom has made it that way. <laughs>